Hi there, welcome to How to Draw Things. Today we're going to learn how to draw a cute little hummingbird, which just happens to be one of my favorite animals of all time. There's a lot of curves involved here, so I hope you stretch. First shape is kind of a curvy hockey puck thing, followed immediately by that exact same shape but upside down. Then we do a cute little triangle for the hummingbird tail, a big curve for the first wing, and then we just connect the lines like that. And then that same thing, but slightly smaller because it's in the distance a little bit and a little uh, upwards, I guess is the best way to describe that. Here I'm switching colors because I'm going to go ahead and draw the long pointy beak. Do you know hummingbirds can open their beak? I saw it once. It's very scary. And then we're going to draw an eye. Because we want this hummingbird to look cute, we're going to do a big circle, a little circle inside of that big circle, and then color in black but leave that little speck of white. That kind of makes it look like its eyes are shiny and therefore somehow that makes it cute. Then I draw a big curvy line right about where the neck would be. And we just kind of outline in that head in red. And then we're going to go ahead and color that in. I outline the eye so I don't accidentally draw over it. I'm kind of a wild and crazy colorer, so I try to make my stuff as mistake proof as possible. And again, I use markers, so I really try to not have as much overlap as possible. That way, the paper doesn't get too wet and it doesn't start wrinkling or smearing. From here, we can pretty much go ahead and color in the rest of the bird. Again, if you're using markers, use nice big strokes. If you're worried about coloring outside the lines, make the lines thicker. I suppose at this point, if you wanted to, you could add tiny little claw feet for the hummingbird. My hummingbird is flying though, so you don't usually see too much of their feet when they're flying. Only if you're paying really close attention. And then we're going to add a flower because we want our hummingbird to live. So I do a big kind of a Y, V, or U shape and then draw little petals in it so it's a nice petally flower. Now, you know, not a lot of people know this. But hummingbirds actually don't just drink flower water. In fact, flower water is kind of like uh, soda or coffee for hummingbirds. Well, hummingbirds actually need to survive as protein, and they get that from bugs. Hummingbirds actually eat bugs. They'll steal them from spider webs. I just thought that was kind of cool. Then I do a little triangle for the base of the flower, and a long, curvy stem all the way down. And I'm going to do little leaves. I alternate either side, kind of an odd even pattern there. And then just do little curvy shapes on either side. You can color these in if you want. I kind of like the way they look outlined, so I am just going to leave them. And there you have it. A nice hummingbird. Oh, and that is my cat. I guess this video is over. Alright, check us out at howtodrawthings.com and uh, send me an email or fill out the form if you have any ideas on what we should do next. Bye.